Hello everyone. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the topic food attributes. This topic is important for all those students who are preparing for ICAR net food technology. This topic is present in unit one named as introductory food technology syllabus of ICAR net. So without wasting time, let's move forward with the video and start with the food attribute that is color. So the color or appearance of the food is considered as one of the most important quality parameters. It is more important than taste and order as it increases the attractiveness of the product. The color of food surface is the first quality parameter which is evaluated by consumers and it is critical to product acceptance. As we all know that the first and foremost thing what we see in a food product is how it appears. And the appearance of food is determined mostly by the surface color is the first sensation which the consumer perceives and uses it as a tool to either accept or reject the food. It is the common tendency of people to accept or reject the food on the basis of how the food appears. Therefore, the visual appearance of the food manifested as its color has a strong influence on consumers' opinion about the food quality. It is considered as the prime factor which also determines the flavor, texture, nutritive value, and wholesomeness. The color can be correlated with other quality attributes such as sensory, nutritional, and visual or non-visual defects and helps to control them immediately. The color of agri-food products such as the fruits and vegetables is derived from natural pigments, many of which change as the plant proceeds through maturation and ripening. As we all know that judgment of the ripening of fruits can also be is also influenced by the color. So we can easily judge by looking at the color of the particular fruit and vegetable that whether it has matured or ripened. The primary pigments imparting color quality are the fat soluble chlorophylls which impart green color Keratinoids, which are the pigments that impart yellow, orange, and red color to the fruits and vegetables. The water-soluble anthocyanins, which are the pigments imparting red or blue color. And flavonoids, which impart yellow color. And the betalins, which impart red color. Next is the texture. The texture refers to those qualities of food that we can feel either with the fingers, the tongue, the palate, or the teeth. It is the overall assessment of the feeling by the mouth and hand, or it is sense of touch by hand and the mouth. These include various physical factors such as softness, hardness, firmness, juiciness, grittiness, or chewiness, which is felt by the consumer when he or she handles the food either with finger or with the tongue, teeth, or through the mouth, feet. Any departure from the expected texture is a quality defect. Measuring the resistance which is offered by the food to an applied force is maybe related to the evaluation of the textural quality. The compressive force which is used on a fruit to squeeze out juice may be related to thickness, while squeezing of bread may be related to springy and spongy texture, which is indicative of the freshness of the fruit. Shivering moves one part of the food to slide past another and is related to the chiviness of the chewing gum. Combination of compressive and shear forces are helpful in determining the tenderness of taste. The texture of muffins may be related to the tensile force which tears or pulls apart the food. The toughness or the tenderness of meat is related to the yielding of meat while chewing with the composite of compressive, sear, and tensile forces. The firmness of a gel is measured by the penetration test in which the force required to move a fixed plunger over a fixed distance to a food material is determined. It is possible to use non-destructive testing of food samples by correlating color with texture or use of 
sound waves. Therefore, some of the non-destructive testing methods are also available, such as using sound waves in order to test the texture of the food samples. Next is flavor. So flavor is a combination of both the taste and smell. The flavor of a given food is determined by both by the mixture of salt, sour, bitter, and sweet taste, and by endless number of compounds which keep food's characteristic aromas. It is the attribute of food or beverages and seasoning which is defined as the sum of perceptions resulting from the stimulation of the sense and that are grouped together at the entrance of the elementary or the respiratory tracts. Therefore, evaluation of flavor factor is highly subjective and it depends on the discriminating ability of the consumer as flavor include the sense of smell as well as the sense of taste. As already I have told you that flavor is a combination of both taste and smell as experienced by a consumer. The taste and concentration of volatile aroma compounds, it may be determined by the gas chromatography technique. Now, coming to the hidden characteristics such as the nutritive value. Nutritive value and the toxicity present in the food, they all come under the hidden characteristics. As a consumer is not able to identify it, the nutritional value of a food or food product, it may be evaluated by the specific analysis for essential nutrients such as proteins, vitamins, minerals, and other nutrients. The chemical and instrumental methods are used for evaluating the nutritional quality. Animal feeding tests, they are also used for evaluating foods from new sources. Now, coming to the consumer preferences. The quality of food and food products, it may be defined as the degree of excellence of various characteristics that influence consumer acceptance as well as the consumer shape. The selection of a particular food by a consumer is made by the judgment of all the physical senses of sight, smell, taste, and hearing, etc. However, the consumer, they cannot judge the nutritional quality of a food as I have already told you and the presence or absence of other pathogens, microbes, chemical additives, etc. The food processing and preservation, it mainly aims at meeting the requirements of both consumer acceptance as well as their state. Therefore, evaluation of food quality for consumer acceptance is based on the use of sensory organs or by the use of appropriate instruments. The consumer safety requires evaluation of food quality with respect to the nutritional quality, hygiene condition, and keeping quality. That was all about this topic. I hope you find the video informative. If you find the video informative, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Food Tech Fiction. Thanks for watching.